the modern Muslim world and beyond has helped Europe, Middle East and Africa e-commerce giant Hepsi Burada grow into an online powerhouse. And the founder and CEO, Hansade Dohan Boynar, was recently named one of the world's most powerful women by Fortune magazine. She joins us now to discuss the company and her efforts to empower girls with access to education. Welcome, Hansade. It's so great to have you here. Tell us about how you started your company and whether you had a background in e-commerce. Uh, actually, I started my business life at Goldman Sachs as a financial analyst, but this is mid-90s, and I've started in media telecommunications uh, department. So I, I got into the industry very early, and when I moved back to, to Turkey, I have realized what a big opportunity internet was bringing to all the consumer world, and that's how I started it. So you were one of the earliest e-commerce players in that space, in the, yes. the Turkey. And so how far, tell us how far your reach is, and how far do you ship products? Okay. Uh, we, you know, our primary market is Turkey. It's a sizable market. It's 80 million uh, population. And also within Europe, there are 6 million Turks, which is as big as some of the European countries. We also target uh, the Turks in Turkey. We do shipments to, to different countries in Europe. And you pointed out that the population in Turkey is a very young population. They grew up with digital electronics at their fingertips. So I would imagine this consumer base just continues to boom for you. Yes, it's a very important point you brought up. Almost 30 percent of Turkish population is below the age of 90. And we call them digital natives. They were born into iPads. They ask a seamless integration between offline and online for them to do online shopping is intuitive, is natural. So we uh, we will continue to see hyper growth in the e-commerce market in Turkey. At the moment, it's only 1% of retail is done online. And we expect within five years, this number to go up to five to 6%. And within your sales on Hepsi Burada, which departments or which, which genres sell the most? Is it fashion, electronics? What seems to be the most popular? Uh, it used to be uh, it used to be electronics uh, dominated, but that has changed over the recent years. We have done our fashion launch this year, which was very successful. We've signed every uh, important fashion brand to be uh, present on our platform. Uh, in terms of numbers, diapers. Uh, usually uh, end up being the number one in terms of units sure. sold. That makes sense. Uh, you, keep, yeah. you need more and more diapers, right? If they can be delivered yes. to your door. What is your delivery system? Is it is it sort of like Amazon here in the U.S.? Uh, we, uh, Hepsi Burada is the platform to lead the digitalization process of of our country. So we invest a lot in last mile delivery and payment solutions. Our last mile delivery company called Hepsi Express. Uh, is 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 at a pilot stage now. We are doing a same day delivery, and hopefully by the second quarter of 2017, we'll be doing two hours delivery for limited SKUs. Right. Um, and payment is also very important. We have high credit card penetration in in the country, almost 75 percent credit card penetration. And we offer for the whole industry easy payment solutions through our company called Hepsi Pay. Well, sounds like a great model. Now, you are also a very prominent philanthropist. You have started an organization called Daddy Send Me to School. Tell me how this works. This is one of the greatest passions of my life. I, you know, I feel responsible to help every every underprivileged girl and every woman to thrive in their potentials. Ten years, more than a decade ago, we had almost 500,000 girls at the age of school who were not registered to the school. And we started, I call it a social uh, mobilization movement. And we started this initiative called Daddy Sent Me to School. We gave more than 50,000 scholarships. We built dormitories, but the most important Together with the policymakers, we've launched um, 
big campaigns to change the mindsets of uh, of families. And Is that why it's addressed to the fathers? Yes. It's to appeal to the fathers, yes. right? Yes. yes, yes. Did you have a supportive father growing up that supported your career? And Very supportive. I was lucky. I was very lucky. That's what every girl needs, yes. right? A supportive yes. parent, a yes. supportive father. And how many girls have you said have now gone through your program? Um, I'm very proud to say that the gap between girls and boys at secondary school is closed in Turkey. Oh, wonderful. We have reached to uh, around 50,000 girls, but the campaign reached much more because it became a national uh, movement right. and the mindset has changed and the government was very cooperative. This can only this kind of social change can only happen with public and private partnership. Well, you are clearly a great role model for these girls and young women. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Thank you very much.